All right, all right, guys. I hope you are having a wonderful time. And here I am with another idea, another video related to this uh, Chevy 1966. It's a Biscayne. And I will show you, I will give you an idea how you can uh, upholster it as some visor on a classic car. How you can wrap that uh, some visor, that pour with a new material. And the, I have a, a video related to this car, uh, but uh, related to the headliner, the whole video. I am working on uh, on this video in the sun visor, and you can see him on there. In some sun visor, you, uh, the customer wants you to make original. And original had like a sun chrome on the uh, every end of the sun visor. But on this one, he don't want those chrome. And plus those chrome, one of those chrome are missing. So uh, when pieces of chrome are missing, it's better not to put them on. Just get rid of those chrome. Are more pieces of chrome. And first thing, if you are learning about upholstery, make sure that those ambices are working correctly because sometimes are broken from inside or are a little bit broken from outside. And try to fix it before you wrap it with a new material. Removing, I remove it. This ambassador compared to uh, the new, uh, the new, uh, the modern uh, uh, style, let's say Honda, let's say Nissan, any new brand or car, are harder. The new brand are harder than this. This it is so easy. The chipboard that I'm going to use is 1.5 millimeter mi uh, thickness, millimeter. The thickness of that chipboard is 1.5 millimeter. So a, a, this chipboard, you can get a, a, any apostle supply in the United States. <coughs> Excuse me, even they know. If you uh, ask them that you need a chipboard for some bikes, they already know. They already know what kind of chipboard you need. And I am using a bobbin, you see? Because I need to give it half inch extra for the scene. Now I draw a line. And I cut a little bit. A little bit. I don't cut it all the way through it, just a little bit. And this board it is flexible on one way. If you try to bend it on the other way, it won't. You have to force it, it might break it. So this way that I this way, see, I cut it and that way is flexible. I have to cut it that way. Even I waste a lot, but I don't have no choice. If I cut them and run them on the other way, I can cut the two uh, uh, sun visor uh, board. But it's like impossible to cut them to the other way. So now I am using this scissor. I can cut it with regular scissor. This is a chipboard, but uh, my scissors are so sharp that I'm using current chipboard. I use this kind of scissor, this is for metal. And it works good cutting this kind of material. A little bit heavy, but that's okay. You will, after you trace it, you have to cut them exactly what you trace it. Remember, uh, right there, it is a little bit big than the wood. You see that uh, base? You will see it right now, half inch bigger. I put them right there and it is half inch bigger, you see? I trace it that way. Don't cut them exactly because if you cut them exactly to the wood, to the edge of the wood, you won't be able to sew in. If you are not able to sew in, you have to cut the wood. And if you cut in the wood, that means you will make you are making the sun bices smaller than the original. I am doing the same thing right here. Uh, just tracing the because I have two sun bites per. So I have to cut the other one exactly like the, like the one I just cut it. And I do the same thing. I use a racing blade in case you have a racing blade, you can use a sharp knife and uh, cut it a little bit. I remember like a 20, uh, no, 20 years ago, 
no more than that. Let's say, let's say that I don't want, let's say 28 years ago, but it was more than that. <coughs> I didn't know that this uh, cheat board exists, so I go to the play with this so like paper, and I buy like a those uh, thickness like paper, and I put it together, I put it together like four layer until I made something like this thickness, and then I made uh, some bicep like that. That was like a more than 30 years ago. And right now, uh, uh, today they sell everything, everything. They make life easier for us. Of course, uh, the place where I, uh, where I was, uh, maybe it, uh, the owner of that place didn't want to spend money, so, and he made it that way, and he made me made it like the way he wanted, so. That was like a, almost 40 years ago. So I just put that, uh, I forgot to mention right there, I just put it like a quarter inch thickness phone. The phone that I use for headliner, I put that phone in there and I will put the material in there. That material, you have to cut it extra with one inch all around, extra or inch and a half, extra. This material doesn't stretch at all. Some fabric, if you are going to wrap uh, some visor, and you're going to use fabric, that's so easy, this is a piece of cake. But uh, if you're going to do other leather, it might take you time because it is leather and you want that thing to come nice because you're using leather. If you're using suede, oh, suede, it look nice and it is easier to do it. Right here, this vinyl doesn't stretch at all, so I don't pull it, I'm not pulling that vinyl right there. I just put that material, see, I just pull it a little bit, a little bit, and try to take it all the way to the other side, even. See, I don't pull it. Because right here, when I bend it, it pull it. Sometimes that part will have wrinkle. But it shouldn't be with wrinkle at the end. It shouldn't be with wrinkle, it should be plain. It should be plain. If it is, if it has wrinkle, put some hot air. Take it to the uh, work under the sun, make the vinyl stretch. If it that by not straight, but in this case it doesn't straight. So you have to know how to do it uh, with the binary that doesn't straight. You see, it has wrinkle on there, but I don't worry about the wrinkle. You know why? Because when I am sewing this sun visor, those wrinkles should come out. It should come out. If it that wrinkle it is big and it is so notable, it won't come out. So make sure the wrinkle should be small. See, when I fold it. See, it's still wrinkle, but that wrinkle will disappear. I am a hundred percent sure that that wrinkle, at, when this ambassador is done, it will disappear. If with this was at a sway or at a, a, any stretchy bind or any stretchy material, that will be plain in there. Those things you will learn if you do a poultry a lot, you're learning those things. I know people who are watching this video, maybe they have like a lot of experience doing this kind of thing, doing like custom interior and they know exactly what I'm doing. They know, and, and uh, because that's the way it is it, when the binary doesn't stretch. Now I'm going to cut all those fall in there, make it flat as possible, that plane, that area, because when I am sewing, if I don't cut them there, you, will, you are able to see those pump, even when the stitch is, that piece is so on. <coughs> so I got this sunbite. This is ready. This sunbite is ready to uh, to sewing. I just making sure I'm going to put them on there and I take it to the machine. So make sure, guys, to to start sewing this thing, you have to have a little bit of skill uh, by using the sewing machine. You don't wanna mess with this, wanna ruin it because you have to make it all new. So right here I am on the sewing machine and you can see them on there, it still has wrinkle. You can start sewing this way, it doesn't matter which way you start, you can start using this way or you can start sewing the other way. 
but first make sure your machine is sewing good. You don't want to break the thread or skip in the middle of this process. So I'm going to start this way. See, I put the metal in there and I have to tack in on there, go back to a stitch back. First, I have to make sure it's, it's the way and that it's placing rice in there and I start sewing. See, and I go slow. Right here, you have to spend some time and do it right. As straight as possible. This is easier. If it is uh, some bites that have a uh, how we like uh, banding all around. That take you more time, but if you have experience, you know, put banding on the sand bice is not a big deal. So this is done. I just give you an idea how you can make a sand bice. See this process, it is, an, it is not a big deal. It is not a big deal. Just you have to have like a certain skill using the sewing machine. That's all. The rest, cutting the chipboard, wrap it with vinyl. That's piece of cake. That it is piece of cake. So it is done. I'm going to take it to the car. This is the uh, headliner of the car. And I made it and I have a video related to this to this shop. And there are the sun visor. And you can see them on there. It did come out nice like that was supposed to be. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you are learning about upholstery, keep on my this channel. I am uploading videos so often related to uh, car interior, boat interior, motorcycles, it, everything related to upholstery. So, so if you are thinking about subscribing, don't think no more. Just click that subscribe button, hit the bell, and that way you won't miss any new videos. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.